I'm going to go over these trucks sitting here behind me. The details are very mild in terms of what's done to these trucks in terms of performance because sometimes less is more. Anybody who has built a lot of stuff, yes, it is fun. It is cool. You can rip the tires out the thing. That's all great. And don't get me wrong, these trucks will still do that, but they're going to do it in modesty because they're not hot rodded out. There's not, you know, big turbos, big injectors, massive tuning that's going to just melt the pistons, okay? These trucks are built to last and run reliably while making plenty of power to get the day-to-day -day work done. So let's go over these trucks and I'm gonna start off with the first gen here over my right shoulder on your left side of the screen here. I'm gonna go over some of the details on this truck and then we're gonna get into the details on this 2005 5.9 Cummins that is also up for grabs right now only. Okay, so if you wanna grab dual entries, this is the only time you can get dual entries. They do have different start dates and end dates, but between July 26th to August 4th, the two giveaways overlap, which gives you the dual entry advantage where you can enter for two giveaways with the same order that you place. So you're doubling your odds. So even though right now it's 50 times entries for the giveaways, you're basically getting 100 times entries because you're getting 50 times entries into that truck there. You're also getting 50 times in for that truck right there. So let's get into the details. Well, the rainstorm that was not in the forecast decided to happen right as I had these trucks cleaned and parked outside. So I had to move inside. I was able to get some clips before the downpour out of nowhere appeared. So hopefully those clips will work, but the trucks got soaked. Now there's water dripping all over the shop and it's just, yeah, it's nice. The first gen here, it's a 1991 W250. So it is a factory four wheel drive truck with a not so factory color. As you will notice, it is actually gunmetal gray metallic. And we did this color on a different truck on a dually last summer in July, and you guys absolutely loved it. So we thought, let's do it again. And here we are. We're sitting on some 33 by 12 and a half Toyo MTs, one of our favorite tires, and 16 by 10 Pacers that give it a negative 38 offset, which is actually pretty nice. Because these trucks uh, from factory, the rear axle is actually narrower than the fronts. The axles actually sit a little bit narrow as it is. And so a little bit better offset on a truck like this actually kind of helps it if you want it to have any kind of tire poke because from factory, they just don't have any really. It's just the way that the trucks were built. These look awesome. Gives the truck that perfect look. Not too wide to be obnoxious and throw mud up the top of your windshield and rocks all the way up to the top of the cab, but just enough to give it a little bit of that beefier stance that everybody kind of loves on an old truck like that. We actually put on smoked lighting on the entire truck to kind of match the color of the truck. So we did smoked lighting for the headlights, turning lights, corner and side marker lights, cab lights and tail lights, they're all smoked and most of them are LEDs. The only lights that are not LED on this truck are the tail lights. Those are still halogens, but everything else on the truck is LED, but not everything is white LED, it's amber LED. So we kind of like to keep that amber look. We just feel like it fits the era of the truck to do amber versus bright white. Now, the only thing that is a bright white LED is the headlight, but that's just kind of a different concept and a different part of the truck. Anyways, we just wanted to keep like the turn signals, the marker lights, the side fender lights, cab lights, stuff like that, tail lights. We just wanted to keep all that stuff, more of that amber look. It is still LED, so it's brighter and it's more enhanced, but it is still amber, which looks really good on this truck. The other thing you're gonna notice on the front here is a new front bumper. This is not a factory front bumper on this particular year and model of truck. Um, Dodge did make some trucks with this smooth front bar with no plastics on it, but a lot of these trucks came with the big, ugly plastic moldings on it, which if anybody's seen them on these trucks, even the nicest trucks over the years, they do get faded, they get warped, they start to bow and get weird, just get a little bit weird. Just the plastic sitting out there, baking in the sun for 30 years, as you can imagine, it does take a toll on it just doesn't look as clean. So we removed that and we put a smooth face bar chrome bumper on it and we put a new chrome bumper on the rear of the truck that matched with no plastics and it looks awesome. The truck also has a new tow package on the rear because believe it or not, this truck from factory did not come with a tow package on the rear end. So it's got a gooseneck, it's got a rear tow package and you can haul whatever you want with it. The only thing it's not set up for, but you could if you wanted, is fifth wheel. But it does have a gooseneck and a conventional tow ball in the back. The other thing to note on this truck is it does have 15% tint on the sides and on the rear glass. So it's not as dark as you could have gone, um, but it's dark enough to give it that nice shaded out interior. And when you're driving around, you know, it's not a fishbowl. Uh, but we did not tint the front windshield because we still want you to be able to see out of the thing at night. And contrary to popular belief in the world of building vehicles, Functionality does matter. And the two most important things that everybody's gonna ask about this truck, we will get you 
right now. So it is a factory 12 valve Cummins. It is a 5.9 liter 12 valve Cummins. The holy grail from Dodge in terms of the, you know, the, the most sought after engine that they ever produced, at least to the current times. And th there's just a lot of reasons for that. They were in tractors, they were in buses, they were then in, of course, trucks. And they're just a super reliable, super functional, very efficient, just, just an incredible low maintenance engine and everybody just loves them for that reason. Super low maintenance, super reliable, and they make tons of torque. And um, they're not the biggest powerhouse out there, but they produce reliable power and that is what people love. The other thing, it's a factory five-speed transmission. Five-speed transmission in these trucks, you can say what you want about the five-speed transmission on these, but they are without a doubt better than the automatic transmissions they made in these trucks back in the day. And that is why it is so sought after. And it's not because oh, it was the best five-speed ever made, it's just because these trucks did not come with the best automatic. So when you find one with a five speed, it is desirable and people want it and this truck has it. So that is it for the overview on this truck. Now it does have things in the interior like a new head unit. It's got the new step bars. Um, it is a red seat, a red interior on the truck with the four wheel drive on the floor and all the four wheel drive components on this truck have been replaced and serviced and it works phenomenal. The, the four wheel drive works awesome. AC in this thing works Awesome. I'm not even lying. When I hop in this thing and you let it run for like maybe five minutes with that AC on max, it gets freezing in that cap so quick for an old truck. I mean, it gets really cold. Not even going down the road to help it cool a little bit. I mean, it just, it gets cold fast and it works great. Um, but it does not have like power windows and power locks. It is all manual for that stuff. It's not an LE, but Come on guys, you're talking a 1991. This is an old truck, 34 years old or 33 years old. However you wanna look at it, it's an old truck. For the options that it has, the condition that it's in, it is a amazing truck. Not to mention, the truck is from Texas. So these are all the original body panels from this truck. And it's not very easy to find them that are still all original panels that have not been swapped out with five different trucks that they had to find clean parts off of. These are all original panels on this truck and they are all rust free and beautiful. So if you're looking for something like this, this is this is literally about as good as they get. So we're gonna go over this truck right here and I'm not gonna use my face quite as much for this one because I'm sure you guys saw me enough for this one. So it's a 2005 5.9 liter Cummins with a 24 valve in it. And this truck, just for a little brief history, a lot of you may already know, but for those of you that don't, this was the first and only generation of the third gen other than the one with the bigger headlights they offered for two years where you could still get the 5.9 in it. This is the last generation of truck from Dodge that you could get that was pre-emissions. Not only that, it was the only pre-emissions generation of Dodge truck that you could get with a four-door and you could get it with either a short or long bed with this configuration. It just was kind of one of those things where everybody else offered a four-door in terms of from GMC, Chevrolet, Ford, you know, all the way through the 90s and through the early, early 2000s. And, but Dodge did not, they actually took away their four-door trucks when they came out with the first gens that offered the diesel in it in the late 80s. So they brought it back for 03 and we're glad they did because it's the only model and in the only generation of those trucks that you could get a four-door, either short or long bed and still have pre-emissions 5.9 truck. So, Awesome looking truck, super reliable, makes plenty of power. In fact, it makes twice as much power from factory than this truck did. A uh, lot of torque, but it's super driver friendly. Lots of the creature comforts that you want in a new truck. Not in terms of crazy giant screens and you know the crazy perforated leather, not like that, but it does have the four doors. It does have the six passenger seats, full power seats. It's got cruise control and it's got amazing working AC and heat. It's got an Apple CarPlay system and all kinds of stuff. This truck actually even has remote start. That's pretty cool. You lock it, okay? Hold the key. Giving it a grid heater cycle right there. Yeah, remote control start to get your heat running in the winter. Get your air conditioning running in the summer, and you don't have to step out of the house to get it going. Um, this is not a factory option, however. This is a Viper security system and a Viper remote start system put on this truck, and it works phenomenally, okay? Um, just kind of an upgrade that's kind of like a creature comfort modern amenity in a truck that you could not get those amenities. So that's kind of a nice add-on that is added onto this truck. 
that I think you guys are gonna really, really like. So in terms of the base truck itself, before getting into anything performance wise, 17 by nines, zero offset, 35 by 1250s, got the remote lock, unlock, four door, six passenger, does have 15% tint on the side windows in the back glass. It's got the beautiful factory paint. It's got a leveling kit, two and a half inches, running boards, rush-free truck from Utah. Now let's get into some of the performance differences in this truck. It does also, before we get into that, does have upgraded headlights with LED bulbs in it. It is a factory housing. However, it does have full bright white LEDs. They are super bright and you will definitely appreciate having those installed on the truck. Getting into performance, this truck does have a much larger upgraded cold air intake. It does have upgraded transmission lines. It has a tuner. It has a five inch exhaust, but it still maintains a muffler on the exhaust system. Going to a six inch tip, it has a much upgraded intercooler system on it, much bigger than factory, pushes a lot of cold air. Air is power in these trucks and cold air is more power in these trucks. That's just kind of how they run. That's how they survive. You take away air, you take away the ability to make reliable power and efficient power. And so of course, why wouldn't you want more? That is the main power layout of the truck and that is all done on a factory 5.9 coming. So it doesn't have like big injectors, big turbo, you know, doesn't have a bunch of crazy stuff. It's got a tuning for the factory power that's there with an upgraded cooling system, upgraded cold air intake, and that's pretty much it. Upgraded exhaust, still maintaining that. The whole truck was built around increasing airflow and efficiency without sacrificing reliability. And I think that's how a lot of these trucks should be kept and maintained because of course they're gonna get harder and harder to find. And when you throw way too much power at them, don't get me wrong, it's super fun. We've had a truck like this that was making like 800 horsepower and it would do four wheel drive burnouts. Super cool. Um, but the problem with that is you're cutting the life of the truck absolutely down in half. Um, because they just cannot run as long with all that stuff thrown at it. That's just the nature of it. If you're willing to understand that and accept it, that's one thing. But for me personally, I like it when trucks can run reliably for a very long time, still make all the power that I need, but not sacrifice reliability and longevity. It's just not the route that I would want to go. So I don't do that for my winners in terms of when we build trucks. So we did it a couple of times in the past, but it's just not as user friendly. We just started to go away from that direction because it's just not what we felt like the customer really wanted in a truck that they were gonna enter to win. At least not from us. You're probably wondering, you said, well, on this truck you mentioned that it was a five speed. What transmission's in this truck? This truck does have an automatic transmission, but before you go, oh my, that's the downfall, oh no. This truck is a Randy's built stage two transmission with a Randy's upgraded transfer case, okay? So this truck has, not only is it a one owner, so not only is this truck efficiently built to push a lot more cold air with an upgraded intercooler and a very much so upgraded cold air intake with a five inch exhaust, but it was built to run reliably with a Randy's built automatic transmission. And it's actually built by Randy's out of Utah in their shop. It wasn't a Randy's transmission that was installed by somebody else. Built in their shop and also has service records for being serviced at their shop as well. So this truck, is an automatic, which we have not offered in a very long time. A lot of manual trucks. We love the manuals. We know you guys love the manuals, but we haven't done a four door truck in a long time. But in terms of an automatic truck in general, it's been a little while and we wanted to offer you something, not just an automatic transmission, but an automatic transmission in a truck that you love, but built by somebody that you can trust. And also knowing the fact that you can get in this thing and drive it and not have to worry about it. Because as much as some people like the automatic transmissions, because maybe they don't want to drive a stick every day. They don't want to shift through gears. They want to make sure that their wife or girlfriend can still drive the truck if for some reason they have to, not that we all want that, but if it has to happen, you want to make sure that they can drive your truck and not break things even more. Cause if you put a manual transmission with somebody that doesn't know how to drive it, it's not going to make the transmission last longer if you put the wrong driver behind it. But this, you can put anybody behind the wheel. They can enjoy the truck, love the truck, drive the truck and get a lot of use out of it. And so we wanted to offer something that was the best all around package for somebody like you that loves the diesels. They love the five nines. They love the pre emissions. They like the four doors. They, they like all the creature comforts of a newer truck, but with the reliability of the pre emissions and the five nine, but with a reliable transmission that you can count on getting you anywhere you got to go day to day 
and this is the truck and transmission to do it. And that being said, guys, that is gonna put a wrap on this video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to take the time to show you guys the details on both of these trucks. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I will actually catch you in a day or two. The winner for that OBS, uh, Alex Miller, is actually gonna be picking that truck up tomorrow. So I'm gonna be getting a video with him. You're gonna see him very soon. If you guys have not seen that winner for that previous giveaway, he has been listed on the website for well over a week now. When you see this video, probably more like two weeks. So if you've been looking for that, it has been on the website. It's literally right on the top of the page. You scroll down just a tiny bit, it's right there and it is on the past winter section of the website, along with additional specific details. If you missed anything in this video, you can go to the About the Truck page, click up in the top corner of the website, the three bars up there on the left, go to Current Giveaway, and you will see all the details for this truck and this truck listed on that page. If you missed anything or if you wanna look at specifics, everything is listed right there. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully that was all the information you guys were looking for. And hopefully you'll take advantage of this 50X bonus that could literally get you this truck or this truck, okay? So you've only got until August 4th and then that dual entry is gone. And 50X right now is essentially 100X because you're getting 50X into this one and that one. You're literally getting 100X entries split between these two. That's how you get the 50X and the 50X on that one. So. Take advantage of it while you can. Our best bonus, best dual entry, our, my favorite duo we've done in a long time, two grade five nine Dodge trucks, four-door automatic truck with a built trans, regular cab long bed, five-speed manual four-wheel drive, first gen. Doesn't get much better than that combo right there. So if you want to take advantage of it, do it now. Thanks so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.